Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. Behind me, it's this beautiful E46 M3. Yes, I recently purchased the car and today I'm going to show you exactly what I have done after I purchased the car to get it to the point where it is right now. Let's go. Before I talk about the things that I've done on the car, if this is the first time you stop by the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure that you subscribe, hit that notification icon, and also like the video if you like this content. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this is my E46 M3 and I recently purchased the car. It looks astonishing right now. It looks beautiful. I like the contrast between the silver and the blackout. And I'm actually thinking about putting my black wheels here to kind of make that pop a little bit because these are the silver and these are running uh, kind of summer tires and the black wheels that I have at home is running on all weather tires so I think for the winter that's probably what I'm going to do. Now when I purchased the car there were a few little things that needed to be addressed you know and then I've taken care of some. Now I'm going to go ahead in detail and show you exactly what was wrong with the car after I purchased it. As soon as I got the car home, the first thing that I completed was an oil change. Yes, whenever you buy a car, especially if you don't know the history on the car, you have to complete at least an oil change just to make sure that you have fresh oil. I knew that the previous owner, you know, completed an oil change, I think maybe 3,000 miles ago, but because when he gave me this car, when I bought the car from him, he also gave me, you know, pretty much a lot of things that I needed to do some of the jobs that um, I'm going to mention. So oil change was one of them. He was planning to do the oil change, so he just kind of gave me everything, all the oil, filter, and everything. So when I got home that next weekend, I just went ahead and completed the oil change. Now, the second thing that I've completed on the car was actually replace the front control arm on the front right here. Now. The previous owner had the wrong bushing on the control arm and on one side it actually had maybe the 330 control arm, I'm not sure, but it wasn't the right control arm from this car, but I believe it was the 330 because it is fit, kind of, and it was, the alignment was a little off, so when I drove it home, the steering wheel I had to hold it like a little angle, but after I've replaced the control arm, it was fixed and everything is good, new alignment and the car drives perfect now that control arm was given to me by the previous owner he already purchased it new for my thing left tenders left funders whatever that guy company is and then i had to purchase the bushing for the m3 once i did that then we went ahead and installed that now one thing that is still wrong on the car as you saw in the previous video is that washer light now although the washer fluid is full the sensor something is wrong on the sensor and the sensor is relocated inside here you have to remove the wheel well to be able to see that now i replaced the sensor already i replaced the pump but somehow that light is still there so i'm pretty sure the wire there's a wire cut somewhere so i just have to trace it to be able to find that wire and then you know kind of solder it together now another thing that i had to do also on the car is on this side the ambient temperature sensor was bad so the temperature that on the dash was always stuck to i think it was 77 degree or some type of thing no matter what the temperature was even on a hot day it was also the same cold day was the same so i went ahead and replaced that and then it fixed that issue pretty quick now another thing that i pretty much have to address is on the inside as you can see when you look on the top here that part is broken so i have to order whatever that thing is it's actually sitting right here on the floor but it has some missing tabs so i have to kind of like find a replacement part to kind of put it right here now also on the sunroof the liner was kind of coming out so i had to go ahead and you know complete that although i didn't do a perfect job because you can see a little bubble here i might have to redo this part and some of these things right here were coming off see this is Ar Arcantara as you can see I did glue it but looks like I did a poor job because this <laughs> is coming off again might have to redo that I did buy the proper glue but maybe since I didn't do any research on how to do this properly I just kind of did it myself so I might have to redo that yeah definitely have to redo it because even here it's coming up yep 
those are little cosmetic things really nothing mechanical little things like that and i also need to replace this chair put back the factory because man this rusty seat is so uncomfortable on long trips when i drove it back i got home my back was on fire so i've been using this like this as a daily but trust me it's not as comfortable as you might think for the track yes it is perfect but on a day to day i think i want to have the factory seat but when i take the car to the truck if i do one day then yes i will put that red you know seat right there I think that's about everything that I've completed on this car since I purchased it. That's it. That's it. And the car is in good working condition. Drives amazing. Everything works. No issues. As far as the only issue I would say is that light for the windshield washer. But I don't really consider that an issue because hey, I can live without it. <laughs> I just also have to fix that headliner because it's it's really bad yeah man car is in very good condition as i mentioned only thing wrong that one spot right here where the paint is coming off also this little spot right here as you can see that i have to address and there is one rust spot the only rust spot on the car which is this part right here so i'm gonna take it to a shop have someone do it professionally do the paint on those area to paint match and this is a factory paint and it looks really 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 good i'm really in love with this car that's why i couldn't i couldn't say no when i saw it and i went and visited in person man it was better than in pictures i hope this camera can do justice to the car but the car is beautiful it drives so good man since i got this car i have been driving it and the E36 and F80 have been parked for a while now. And the F80, I haven't even driven the F80 that much this past season because of the E36 first and then this. So yeah, man, I need to make a choice in my life here with these M3s. I think probably I'm going to have to make a video where I can compare um, all of these M3s since I own three of them now. Oof, 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 oof. One thing I always wish was that the E36 came with quad tips like this. Like, because after that, not all the M3s have quad tips. I wish the E36 had quad tips. I know you can make it, you know, retrofit, something like that. But I just wish from factory was like that. I think it would be badass. Really quick, those were the few things that I've completed on the car since I purchased it. Right now, honestly, I don't have, I don't really know what plans I have for this car. So for now, I only, you know, daily it. I'm going to do just regular maintenance on it keep it the way it is because my goal as you know is still to make the e36 truck car but so far this past weekend i've been feeling a bit weird because i love now i don't know it's 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 like i have three kids and that this one has the most love coming from my heart at this moment in my life but um because a lot of things were done already on the car i just want to make sure i do like the big three and um to kind of bulletproof the car and also you know cosmetically make it even more better and just drive it just drive it and enjoy it i don't want to rip it i don't want to do i probably won't do any track thing with this car yet don't know how the future is but because this car are now becoming you know classics i don't really want to ruin one perfect example like this one now the e see because it looks already a little beat up I, that's why i kind of decided to have it a track but some days i feel like i should restore it other days i feel like i should track it i don't know i change my mind so much when it comes to those cars that it's kind of hard for me to decide what to do and just kind of stick to it yeah but definitely this one is like the f80 are just going to be dailies because i do i would daily those two and probably start using the e36 less and less and just kind of focus on working on that car probably i don't know i don't know you 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 will see on the channel i may i may change my mind again in one month but so far i think that is the plan all right man if you found this video helpful or useful to you if you want to learn about what i do with this car make sure that you subscribe hit that notification icon also follow me on instagram because i usually post pictures of these cars when i'm in you know different areas and things like that and i also drop sometimes information about what i'm doing so 
definitely instagram has a lot of updates about what's going on in my life in general and if you want to know me a little bit on a personal level that will be the spot to also go because i do post about things that happen in my life there um yeah all right on this note i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye